Hi, my name is Jake, and I'm a software engineer on iGoogle. In this video, I'll walk you through the iGoogle sandbox and go over some of the new features we'll be launching shortly. I also want to show you how to use some of the new gadget APIs. iGoogle has come a long way since we first launched in May of 2005. We now have tens of millions of users and are available in 40 languages. If you're new to iGoogle, iGoogle is a personalized homepage that you can customize with information and tools that you use every day. OK, great, let's get started. First, let's walk through the composition of an iGoogle page. You'll notice that much of the page stays the same. Here's the Google search bar, and here's where the user's gadgets appear. Two areas that are new to iGoogle are the left navigation and user updates. The left navigation is where users can see a list of their gadgets and get easy access to their email, news, and tools. The update section will show users what their friends are up to. Gadgets are allowed to post activities to the update section. More on updates a bit later. One of the most frequent requests we get from developers is to give gadgets more real estate on the page. This means you can develop a better gadget that has more features and functionality. The gadget's default view, or home view, is what you see when you first log into iGoogle. For example, here's the books gadget in home view. It displays a quick preview of the books you and your friends are reading. Let's say you want to know more about the Summer Queen. The gadget will navigate you to the Canvas view where you can see more information about the book, including what your friends had to say about it. Let's get started creating the basic Hello World gadget. Feel free to copy this code if you like. An iGoogle gadget is an XML file containing two content sections, one for the Home view and one for the Canvas view. Each content section is filled with HTML and or JavaScript. Building a gadget is as easy as building a web page. To use multiple views, I need to tell iGoogle that I require the Views feature. Your gadget can navigate users between the Home and Canvas view. To do this, use the gadget API call Request Navigate To. Here, we have a link that goes from the Home view to the Canvas view. I created a wrapper function called GoToView, which is invoked whenever I click on this link. Let's see this gadget in action. Now let's add some social features. First, I need to include the OpenSocial 0.7 library, which enables social features for this gadget. I reuse the same JavaScript in both views, so I'm going to put all of my functions into one file. I'll reference the file using the script source tag. Separating the JavaScript allows me to more easily maintain and reuse this code. This gadget has two new features. The first feature is to display a list of all my friends. Let's take a look at the JavaScript to see how we do this. When my gadget initializes, I invoke a function called load friends. In this function, I first create a data request object. Anytime we need to grab information from the server, we create a data request object and configure it for the task at hand. In this example, I instruct the object to retrieve all of the viewer's friends. In iGoogle, a viewer is the same as the logged in user. Whenever I use a data request object, I need to create a callback function to handle the retrieved data. Here, I create a function called print friends list, which as the name implies, renders the list of my friends to the browser. The gadget now displays the names of all my friends. The second feature that I want to talk about is the ability to post updates. Updates are activities that your gadget generates and are displayed to the user in the updates gadget. The open social framework makes this pretty easy. All I need to do is create an activity object and configure it with my desired parameters. In this example, I configure the activity title with this text. Once the activity object is configured, I use the open social framework to post it to the server. Let's see how this looks to the user. I invoke my JavaScript by clicking this button, and now I see my new activity posted to the update gadget. We hope this gives you a good idea of the new features we are developing in iGoogle. To learn more about the iGoogle Sandbox and to get additional information about gadgets, check out our developer guide at code.google.com/iGoogle. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing what you create.